Hey there, Sunrise Beauty team. This is Chris Arnold, your Avon Independent Sales Leader, and I have your Tuesday topic for Tuesday, May 22nd, uh, 2018. And um, wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, are you, um, you know, planning, setting goals, and scheduling things for your business, or are you just letting it happen or not? Uh, yesterday at our team meeting, um, our lunch and learn, which if you um, were not able to join us in person or join us on the Facebook Live, you can go over to um, the Facebook group um, Sunrise Beauty Team Meetings and catch the replay there. And that is uh, that is a it, it's a closed group, like membership has to be approved, but it's open to any Avon representative anywhere in the U.S. And um, that group is specifically for streaming our team meetings, usually our lunch and learn, but sometimes we might have other meetings. Um, for different purposes that we may stream there as well. So at our Lunch and Learn yesterday, we were um, talking about the President's Club Gala that happened here in Las Vegas um, on Saturday. Um, they've been going on all over the country um, in different areas um, in April and May of this year. And the, the President's Club Galas right now are recognizing representatives' achievements in 2017. And one of the big changes that they made with recognition for 2017 is we used to be uh, organized by districts and divisions and within our district and division you would get a trophy one of these these lovely um, trophies you can see a couple of the older ones um, on my shelf there those are actually my first two trophies that I ever got way back in 1999 the first trophies that I got at uh, President's Club luncheon and um, so we were talking about these these trophies and, and how it used to be that you had to earn the trophy by being um, in the top three in your district, in the top three in your division. The last couple of years, they actually had it where you would um, could be in the top five. So they have different areas that they recognize, like your personal sales volume or personal sales increase. Um, your personal recruiting, your personal, uh, your team sales volume or sales increase, things like that. Um, this trophy is actually a trophy for our entire team. Um, this is, is a group effort, and this was for team sales volume. Um, we got a bronze trophy for that this year. And it used to be that it would be based on whether our team got a trophy or not, would depend on what other leaders were in my district and how we compared with them and if we were in the top three or in the top five. So what Avon has done now with um, 2017 is they have made the trophies a you do, you get. So for example, for personal sales, if um, to, to go to the President's Club Gala events, the tribute events, you have to have, you have to be a President's Club member. So you have to have sales of $10,000 over the course of the year. So from campaign one to campaign 26, that gets you the invitation to the gala. Then if you're an honor society member or above, and have sales of 20,000 or more, you would get a bronze trophy in personal sales. And then our Rose Circle and McConnell Club members get silver trophies for personal sales. And our President's Council and President's Inner Circle representatives would get the gold trophy for personal sales. So they have a set amount that you need for each level, and it's you do, you get. So in previous years, you really couldn't set a goal for what trophy you would like to get. You could just say, I'd really like to be number one in my district in personal sales. But you have no way of knowing where you're at compared to the other representatives um, in, your, in your district. And there was one year... Um, that I was number two in my district in personal sales, and I was behind number one by $20. Now, today, if I knew that I had, um, that I needed just $20 more to get to the next trophy, I guarantee you I would have added $20 to my order somehow. Um, but back then you didn't know. So anyway, so we, we were talking at the Luncheon year, Learn yesterday about what our goals were for the 2018 President's Recognition Cycle and what we want, what our goals are for, what we want to be recognized on stage for at the President's Club Luncheon next year. Now, I know a lot of you are not yet President's Club representatives, but, you know, we still have, we're in Campaign 12 right now. Um, campaign 12 finishes up next Tuesday, 
So we've still got half of campaign 12 to go. And then we have 14 more campaigns before the end of the cycle in campaign 26. There is still time to make President's Club. A brand new representative just starting today could realistically make President's Club by the end of the year. So um, for some of the representatives at the luncheon, their goal was just to be invited to the gala. So they wanted to get to President's Club level so that they could attend the gala and, and be there. And, um, you know, that was their first step. And then next year they'll worry about what they're going to be recognized for on stage. So um, anyway, so this comes to, you know, we, we spent some time at the Lunch and Learn yesterday setting goals and stating what we wanted, where we wanted to be next year. So sometimes that's where it stops. Sometimes we just say, well, hi, I want to be, uh, you know, a McConnell Club representative next year. I want to sell $65,000, um, you know, over the course of the year and, and be at that sales level to get that silver trophy. But just saying I want to do that it's not necessarily going to get me there. Um, it may be that I'm kind of already on track for it and I'm just going to kind of cruise into that without really much effort. But it may be that realistically, um, you know, that would be an additional $25,000 over what I did last year that I would need to sell to get there. So just saying that I want to be at a higher sales level isn't necessarily going to get me there. I need to actually set a goal. You know, and you want it to be, you know, a smart goal. It needs to be specific, measurable. It needs to be actionable. It needs to be something you can take action on. So those old trophies where you had to be in the top three in your district, that wasn't actionable because you couldn't control what other people were doing. Um, it has to be um, realistic or reasonable. So, um, and and really only you can decide if, it's, if it is realistic or reasonable. Um, to maybe be a brand new representative in campaign 13 and say, I want to be the top selling representative in the country by the end of the year. Probably not realistic or reasonable, not outside of the realm of possibility, but maybe not a reasonable goal for your first half of year. Um, but to say, I'm, I'm starting, I'm just a brand new representative in campaign 13. Or, you know, I haven't really gotten this year off to a very good start, and I only have about $1,000 in sales, so I would need to sell $9,000 to get to President's Club. That's still a realistic or a reasonable goal. But, you know, you have to look at, at where you're at and what you're doing and what it will take to do it to determine for yourself if that's a realistic or a reasonable goal. And it has to be time-based, which if we're talking about goals for... Um, you know, the, the president's of the 2018 recognition cycle that is time based because that ends in campaign 26. So, um, you know, you really want to to set a goal. You want to write it down. Um, you, you may even want to, um, you know, create a vision board or something visual that you can refer to as motivation. So, um, you know, what will it mean to reach president's club? So maybe you'll find some pictures of the luncheon or the people being recognized on stage and use that as part of your vision board that, you know, if that's the part of why you want to do it is to be recognized. Uh, so you want to set those goals, but then you want to look at the actions. Remember we said the A in a SMART goal is actionable. What actions are you taking, do you need to take to reach that goal? And are you putting them in your calendar? Are you committing to taking those actions? Um, so let's see what would be um, a good, easy, quick number example. So say, for example, you're um, you know, currently at about $3,000 for the year. So you need another $7,000 by the end of the year to make President's Club. Now, I'm going to tell you, we have till campaign 26, but I don't want you to take you know, we've got campaign 13 to 26, so 14 campaigns. I really think that you should take that $7,000 and divide it by 12 campaigns, which would get you hitting President's Club in campaign 24. Now, you may ask, well, if you've got till 26, why do I want to try to do it by campaign 24? Well, it comes down to, um, as with so many things in this business, you don't want to wait till the last minute, and you don't want to aim for just the minimum. You want to give yourself a little bit of a cushion. 
And if you do fall a little bit short in campaign 24, you've still got two campaigns to really rally and, and catch up on any shortfalls. So if you still needed $7,000 for 2018 to reach President's Club, um, say in 12 campaigns, that would be $583. Um, so again, you don't want to aim exactly for $583 because if you do fall a little bit short, you want to aim a little bit above that. So we'll round it up, say $600. So $600, so then you want to look at what is your current average customer order. So say your current average customer order is $25. Um, on the whole, that's about what an average order is um, across the board with Avon when they've averaged it out. So that's 24 customers placing an order every campaign. So how many customers do you currently have that are placing um, an average order of $25? So say you already have maybe 10 customers. So then you just need to, your, your action needs to be, how are you going to get those 14 additional orders every campaign? So then, you know, deciding what steps you want to take to um, either increase the sales from your current customers, getting them ordering either more often or placing larger orders each campaign. You know, what products can you show them? If they're already using um, skincare, can you show them some of our bath and body products? Can you show them some of our makeup products? What about our fashion? So getting them interested in a different category than what they already use. Um, who do they know that maybe they can pass the brochure on? Maybe that one customer, they're already spending as much as they can spend or they're already buying as much as they are going to buy from you. But who do they know that they can recommend to you to help you get another customer? that may be interested in ordering. But the important thing is, do you have these things on your schedule? Are you, you know, committing to taking these actions, committing to asking your customers, um, you know, for a referral? So if you, you need to take action to do that, are you putting um, a sticky note on the bag to remind you to ask for referrals? You've got the sticky note that you can write them down. Um, are you, um, when you're putting together your customers' orders or putting together their brochures, are you flagging the pages in the brochure that you want to share them, uh, share with them, products that you want to show them that you think they might be interested in or to see if it's something they would be interested in trying? Um, are you setting time? Are you putting time on your schedule to go out and meet new people? Uh, one of the biggest pitfalls that representatives get into if they're really looking to build a business. Now this may not, if, if what you're looking to get out of your Avon business is just to be the Avon lady for um, you know your family, your friends, the people that you see on a weekly basis. If your goal is just to be their Avon lady and um, take the extra income that takes from taking those orders, then this isn't necessarily a pitfall. So in this context, we're looking at representatives who really want to build and expand their business. They have big um, earnings goals and they need to go beyond mom, sister, cousin, um, you know, that type of um, best friend thing. So what happens is, is, is new representatives, they get really excited. They talk to everybody they know that they know loves Avon. They get a really big order their first campaign. The next campaign, they get a little bit smaller order because um, you know maybe everybody didn't get everything they wanted in the first order, or um, they caught up with a couple of people who didn't get an order in the first order. And then kind of their third campaign just kind of fizzles out. And it's because they haven't put in their calendar, they haven't committed to taking the time to reach out to new people. They're just sticking with those same five or six people and, um, and that's not a, a, sustain, a sustainable customer base unless you're just looking, you know, to be able to get the discount on your own products. Or, you know, when I first started, my my goal was to take orders from the few late. I worked with about four or five other ladies at the place that I worked at. I had my mother-in-law, um, my mother, my sister, a couple of other people, friends that I knew that liked Avon. And my original goal was I want to sell enough to those people to cover the cost of the products I want to buy for myself. But then when I, you know, really needed to generate an income with my Avon business, obviously those same half a dozen, 10 people was not going to cut it. I was going to need to go out and meet new people, which meant putting it on my schedule to go out and distribute brochures, to go out and talk to people. So, um, so, Ask yourself, are you, are you just saying, I want something, 
and just kind of wishing for it and hoping it will happen? Or are you, are you taking action? Are you committing to it? Are you putting it on your schedule? Um, putting it on your calendar this many days a week, I'm going to go out and do this or this day. I'm, I'm going to do this. Um, putting it in your calendar. I'm going to follow up with all of my customers before the order goes in. Um, not just taking the orders as they happen. So are you, are you just saying what you would like to do or are you really committing, really getting it scheduled and taking action or are you just letting it happen? or not because a lot of times if we just kind of let things happen if we just say oh well you know when i go out i'll talk to a few people or you know if i think about it if somebody you know if i'm talking to somebody while i'm out and i think about it i'll offer them a brochure or are you actually you know committing and scheduling and setting goals for i'm going to find three people to talk to this week um, I'm going to, or, you know, if you're going to really commit to doing the five by five, I'm going to talk to five people every day, five days every week. So that gives me 20 people. And, and, you know, depending on what your goals are for your business, you know, if your goal is to build your team, then your five by five could be one day I'm going to talk to five existing team members about what I can do to help support them. Um, and and grow their business if that's what they're looking to do. And then the next day I'm going to talk to five people that have expressed an interest in being a representative and see if the time is right for them to get started. And then the next day I'm going to talk to um, five brand new people who I may be able to interest in being on my team or just being a customer because you know nothing happens without sales. So you do need customers even if you are building a team. Um, you do still need to acquire, um, you know, new customers because you need sales as well. So, um, so yeah, definitely ask yourself, am I, am I just saying that I want something or am I really committing to getting it, scheduling it and taking action rather than just um, letting it happen as it might? Um, so saying, well, you know, if I have time this week, I'll go out and share some brochures. Um, rather than I am going to look at my calendar and I am going to make time on Thursday afternoon while the kids are in school or on my way home from work on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to stop at a few of the businesses along my route home and see if they would like to uh, get Avon service at their business. So um, if, you know, as with anything in your business, if this is something that you need a little bit of help with, um, because it is something that is sometimes challenging for folks, just really that idea of, of scheduling and taking action. Um, if it's something you need help with, reach out, let me know. Reach out to your direct mentor if, if that's not me. You know, if it's maybe Nancy or Cynthia or Daniel, um, Sandra or Sandra, um, you know, whoever it might be. Um, reach out to them and they can help you um, put together an action plan and help you get that into your schedule so that you are actually taking um, action towards your goals and um, so that you can join us at the President's Recognition Gala next year. Um, you know, and don't worry if you're not in Las Vegas, we have some flexibility there that, um, that we can get you to a gala where you will have your own cheering section. So, um, or we will bring the cheering section to you, however we have to do that. So um, hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Have a fabulous week, and I will see you all again in a couple of weeks.